What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World. And during this whole uh, Mutt Hero situation, what happened was I was in a situation where I was able to make, I think I made like 500K. Uh, I showed it to you in a different video. Pretty much you have to do all the Mutt Heroes and you got a certain amount of coins. And I was able to make a decent come up. And I chose through playing all that Madden to go ahead and try to upgrade my, my team a little bit. You know what I'm saying? As far as like, you know, adding Jadavia and Clowney. So let me explain to you what exactly happened and why this guy's about to get removed from the squad right now because I don't think in my position that he adds any value. Now, this is the situation. I run a 4-3. If you run a 3-4, this guy might be beautiful for you. The only thing that really upsets me is that I wasted like 600 um, training points on out of my way chem, which really only matters if you're on him. You know what I'm saying? Like, it really doesn't add anything to it. It says that it's going to, you know, blow up plays in the um, open field or whatever like that, but you get more, you get an additional shed bonus if you're on it. He didn't really add anything to the squad. The bigger thing is he adds, uh, what is it, uh, times four with the actual pass rush. Okay, so removing him is going to let me lose the times four, but I got 21K right now, and this dude's garbage. Like, he doesn't really do anything for me, and pretty much what I was doing was I was subbing him in um, to where Aaron Donald is at the right end, and I was putting Aaron Donald at D tackle. And for some reason, they make Aaron Donald really bad at D tackle, which the D tackle was his original position. So I thought that they would still give him, you know, a decent amount, but he goes to like an 85 overall in 4-3 as the D tackle. Um, so pretty much what I'm going to be doing is I don't think I need Jadavian Clowney on the squad, um, honestly speaking. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to, you know, get rid of this guy. The only, it's just really, really difficult for me to figure out how I'm going to deal with this accordingly because the whole objective is the next um, rising star that they put out, we would be able to max out pass rush. You can see over there that we have 25 out of 30 and Jadavian Clowney adding what he adds. I don't know if I should give him another shot, maybe put him on the other side. This dude's garbage, man. He's not really putting in work, but I put that coin, yo, bro, I put those training points into him. And I'm really contemplating just getting rid of him and just going in another direction. Because realistically, right, Vita Vea hasn't been getting any snaps. All right, so since Vita Vea hasn't been getting any snaps. And you know the one thing that I've noticed, though? I think I might have to, the only thing that I might have to do is probably switch where Vita Vea is on the D line. Because I noticed something that was really, really glitchy when I had Aaron Donald at that position at the, um, at his, at his, at his, um, at the D tackle position. D tackle, I put him at D tackle too like inside the game, I noticed uh, he, he's very, very glitchy on the D tackle, but he's not, you know what I'm saying? He's not like um, super, like super powered, but he's really, really sleek through the center at D tackle. But at the, at the left end, you know what I'm saying? I mean, the right end where I put Jadavian Clowney in his spot, Jadavian Clowney wasn't really making a lot of noise. So I didn't really see a big difference through it. If we're just being honest about it, which is why at this point, I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to have to just sacrifice, bro. I'm going to have to take away the training points and then just get rid of him outright because, hold on, let's go, let's go take a look at what he's going for right now. And again, if you have him as an outside linebacker and you play him like that in 3-4, because I played against guys that have him there, it's, he, he's a savage. He's like honestly a savage animal, bro. But it, it's just not, it's not worth it for me to have him there as a backup and then, you know, I take away from Vita Vea because Vita Vea is outrageous in the game and you don't really realize how good he is until you have him on your team. Like he really just, for some reason, just makes plays. And I can't, oh, is it Jadavian? Yo, these dudes' names is crazy. Is that how you spell it? No, that's not how you spell it. Okay, Jad? Bro, it has to be J-A, right? Bro, what, what, what's this dude's name? Okay, there it goes. Oh, it's just J-A-D. All right, good, good, good. All right, so he's at 88K right there. So we'll get that back. He's at 357. So we can make like, you know, we go 340. We go bam, that's like a bam, four. And then that's it. We go, we could go, it's like 400K for him right now. And to be honest with you, I don't think his value is going to go up that you know that much, even if he gets a most feared. If you like, I said the guys that I play that are savages with him, they usually use him in a three-four defense. Um, he's not; he, he's just not working for me right now. And you know, like I said, at the end of the day, man, it's very it's a very very difficult uh, situation to do to always get rid of a player, bring his wife in the office. You know what I'm saying? Just do her. I mean, you know, whatever. What? What? Do her? What? Don't worry about what I'm saying. The whole thing is we have to get rid of this guy. We got to get our coins up and we got to move forward because I think right now it doesn't make any sense to keep him on the squad. It just doesn't. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to we're going to lose those. Like I said, you can't really do anything about this part because it costs you money to take it off. They won't even give you a portion back. I got to ask EA why they're doing that. They should give you a portion back of that. Can they give you a portion back of everything else? Uh, so we're going to go ahead 
And we're gonna just down, bro, downgrade him. I don't want this guy. Bro, downgrade it, downgrade it all, downgrade it all. We want all our trading points back. Everything, bro, give it all back. Give it all back, man. Um, this dude right here is, is just not worth it, man. It's just not, uh, man, I, I really thought that he would add a different dimension based on, you know, playing against him. Not for me, though. You have to be running like a 3-4 and have him as a linebacker standing up. If he's down, if he's a down lineman, it, it does, it's not the same thing. It's weird, that it's weird, but it's, it's just not the same thing. It just doesn't work like that. So I'm just making sure you guys and girls understand that. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually, we could put, um, actually, let me put Shaquem Griffin back there because I usually have Shaquem Griffin and he was like, I think Shaquem Griffin had pass rush on him also, I believe. Then, is that what he had? Let me just go ahead and check that because I'm going to get rid of all that. I don't know if we'll be able to sell everything, um, but we'll, we're going to get rid of him. Shaquem Griffin was there. Where is he? I think he's like a 71 and we had him back there just chilling. And he, he did his part on special teams. You know what I'm saying? Like, he don't, he don't really get no snaps, though. He don't really get no snaps when he does get in the game. Bro, where, where is his, um, why don't they, oh, how many Shaquem Griffins do I have? Okay, there it goes, pass rush. Like, yo, bro, what, I got, okay, uh, for a tired depth chart, what, where, where, where do I, no, just, just for this position. Because where else is he supposed to be at? I don't understand what's going on. I have him as pass, so what's our pass rush at? 22, so we're going to get to 28. And then we'll figure that out. Where else is he at? He's in the specialist? Oh, what's this guy doing there? Rushing left end. Nah, bro. We got to put Aaron Donald there. Where's Aaron Donald? Aaron Donald will stay there. We'll leave it like that. Keep him where he's supposed to be. Is that, is that everybody? But that's the left end, though. Why is he the right end? Isn't he? No. You should be. What the? Yo, why did they switch my stuff? Because I didn't do this myself. Okay, this is, this is rushing left end, right? Okay, so the rushing left end is going to be Khalil Mack. The rushing right end is going to be Aaron Donald. So that way we can always have it set the way it's supposed to be. I don't know what that was all about right there. Okay, so now that that's... We don't have anybody in the backups positions, right? All right, everybody's good. That guy's good. Um, what's here? Dark. Okay, good. All right. Okay, light uniform. We don't. Okay, that's for the team. Show. Okay. All right, so look now. We're going to go ahead and we're going to try to get rid of that guy. Now, this is what I'll suggest to you guys. If you're running a 3-4... And he's working for you, I would leave him because obviously he's gonna get a power up, especially with the way he played against the Cowboys recently. He was like a god. He was like a god out there. So uh, I expect him to get an upgrade, but for me, he's not really working right now for me. That doesn't mean he doesn't work for you guys. And when I tell you that the guy, yo, listen, man, he wasn't making any plays. You know what I'm saying? Like Aaron Donald was making, making way more plays than this guy. And it's crazy that I'm saying that, but he was making way more plays. And in my position, I, I get losses based on, you know, guys throwing the ball through my body a lot and all kinds of other freakish stuff. I can't have that also happening. That's my situation, guys. I can't allow a guy to just be on the team chilling and not making plays. It doesn't work for me, and I just can't have that happen. You know, so I'm in a very, very precarious situation. You know, I, I can't, I, you know what I'm saying? I can't afford to just have guys out there not balling. All right, so now that's all gone. Um, Jadavian Clowney, okay, so with the program... I don't know. If we, should we just keep, we'll keep his power up. We have a lot of the power ups there. All right. So once that guy sells, what we're going to have to do is looking at the rest of the team, we're going to have to start to look at where we're going next. So he's definitely going to be sold. So I'm not really worried about it, but we're going to have to look at the rest of the team and see exactly what's going on with it. How can we move forward with this and try to figure out, you know, where do we go next? Okay. Looking at the team right now, we're going to have Ricky Williams powered up all the way very, very soon at a level 60. So that's going to be something that's going to be pretty good. I'm contemplating on whether we're going to give him a uh, sprinter cam or anything like that to make him faster than he actually is going to be. Because right now, what is he? I think he's like a 90, right? I think he's a 90 speed. Okay, so we can actually get him, uh, get him up to like a 92 uh, in all actuality and just get him rocking and rolling. You know what I'm saying? We're going to see how we can work that. Um, defensively, with everything else that's going on, um, Jerry Rice is garbage. I got to see. Oh, do we? I forgot what we were trying to do. I think I was going to think about moving Jerry Rice back to the slot because he's not really putting in work the way he's supposed to. Um, has he been dropping a lot of passes? Yes. Everything else has been pretty much the same as far as that goes. But um, we're going to see if we can make out with, you know, like, I, I, yo, this guy, bro, man, like, I, I don't know how to explain it, but the dude drops wide open passes. I can't. I think it's just the, it's the game itself, but it's just really bad when it happens and you see Jerry Rice, like, that's the guy that's doing it. Um, Vita Vea, like I told you guys before, he's a pretty good card. The issue that I have with him is he's pretty slow. And that's the one thing that I noticed with Jadavian Clowney. 
when I was able to, uh, you know, put Aaron Donald in the D at the D tackle position instead of Vita Vea, I did notice uh, a lot more of a speedy pass rush penetration. I did notice that. So that's something that I'm going to be looking to do. Maybe we upgrade the D tackle position and we go forward from there and continue to see what we could do. As far as um, user, this guy Miles Jack is my user, man. Um, I think he's really good right now. Uh, you know, Shazia blitzing off the edge. That he does enough for me. Whatever he's doing, that's fine. Telvin Smith is pretty good. He's you know he's fast enough to make a lot of the plays. I think he comes in as an 87 speed, right? Yeah. So he he's really really good. That play wreck sometimes. Yo, man, it be having me raging, dog. But his block shit is pretty high. So if you play a lot of Sagdi and you have him and you just send him on like a three man rush, he'll get to the quarterback faster than the seven man rush. It's really really weird the way that that happens. But that it, it is what it is. Um, Jalen Ramsey. I don't know, man. He, this guy, yo, we might, this, yo, bro, this guy right here, though, may, I'm going to tell you guys what I'm going to be doing with him probably a little bit later on, but he might be a guy that we get rid of um, depending on how it works out because I, I don't know what's going on with him, bro. Like, the guy's coverage, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wait because I'm about to have the John Madden. Uh, get, I'm going to get his zone coverage up to a 97. So it's going to be two points away, bro. It's going to be two points away. If this guy can't do the job, man, I'm going to just have to get rid of him. Because I don't, I don't know what he's doing. And in some cases, he just stands there. But most of the corners do that. If the, if the player that you're playing throws the ball really, really fast, for some reason, they just stand there and don't react. Even when you click on and try to make a play, they just stand there and don't react. So I don't know if I'm blaming Jalen Ramsey for something that he has no ability to control. But he may end up getting rage sold regardless. Okay? It may just happen. Um, I'm pretty I, I like Aaron Donald. I like John Randall. Khalil Mack is very, very fast, which is why... I have him there right now. Will he be there for the rest of the year, though? See what I'm saying, bro? Like, that's where I'm going with it. And that's why it's very, very difficult for me to do the times two. I should have did times two sprinter for this guy, though, because he's the mutt master. He's not going anywhere. Um, but for a lot of them, when I put, like, the regular base sprinter on them, that's why I do that, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to raid sell them. But this guy, I should have done it to. I just didn't like that EA is charging you 2500 instead of just charging you 2000 training points. I don't like that. Uh, and that's probably why I didn't do it. Um, but that's pretty much the defense overall. Sean Taylor is a stud. He don't need no explanations. You know what I'm saying, bro? Um, offensively, the O-line, I like what I'm doing there with that. We got to just see if we can, um, with the next upgrade, probably, like, I'm just looking for more speed. I'm just looking for more speed. And Tyreek Hill is that dude. So more than likely, I think we got everything that we need at that position. So we just have to wait to see how everything else transpires um, going forward. So that's it. We had to get rid of him, man. The dude's garbage. All right? But if you run a 3-4 and you like him, stay with it. It just didn't work out for me. All right? So he's gone. We're going to try to get that other stuff sold and see what we could do as, as far as our next upgrade. And, um, you know, we'll go from there. But, again, maybe it's because his hand is in the ground that he's doing that and he should be standing up. But it didn't work for me in the 4-3 defense. I want to thank you guys and girls for watching. You enjoy your day. Until next time, one love.